Hello, it's day number two of Wessex October 2018, hashtag MB09. It's Friday the 5th, oh, Friday the 5th of October, and the time, time's against me, 06.35 hours. I'm in room 101. I'm sure you'll get the significance. Anyway, Weymouth first. There's Costa, which I'll just have a sneaky quick check in. And there's the station over there, and you can only just see it, the lights in the centre. That's the booking office. I get my ticket there. They have an app, but they don't do e-tickets. That's a bit strange. Anyway, the tech is against me. Uh, Mojave, uh, I need to check out Typeinator. Uh, the audio, <laughs> having great problems with micro.blog. Just an ordinary MP3 file, that's all I need. Um, Apple, not everyone uses M4A, but there you go. Um, so, Costa there, the Swan, and then the Beer Festival, and there's also a sort of Oktoberfest thing as, with it as well. <laughs> oh, that's a good start. Anyway, got to get the audio then, no? Okay, revised plan. The 658 is now 758 due to there being a strike. And there's a strike tomorrow as well. So, plan B, cost of coffee. I'm coping with this quite well. Well, I'm here. It's only about 10 minutes on the train. There'd be my train, and there'd be lots of other trains which may or may not be running. So check in, find the times of the trains back, which may change, and then this one gets free. Hashtag MBO9. Okay, the swan. I'm looking for the sign that says no kids. I can't see it, but it's covered with the beer festival thing, so who knows? Maybe. Ah. It's very mild. But it is very autumnal. So I'm back in the Swan, which is child free, and the bar is open at, well, I think it's open at 8. It's 29 at the moment now. And as you will see, no children, no one under 18 years old. There is another spoon just up that way, where you can take children and they can run around and cause mayhem. Anyway, <laughs> uh, buying repairs, no doubt. This is coffee by Kittle, 4.3% alcohol by volume. It had a huge head, it's gone down a bit now, but I kind of like that. Right. Mm, nice temperature, not too cool. Ooh. Starts off bitter, then the citrus hits you. And that's really good. That is. I'm gonna give that a B plus plus. That is cascade the way it should be, and it's a local brewer. So excellent. <coughs> anyway, I had this thing overnight, um, and I'm not sure if Premier Inn are now blocking things like YouTube. Anyway, I had to use um, private internet access for my VPN to upload it. And it's not particularly fast, despite the fact that um, that's the Wi-Fi, not private internet access. Uh, despite the fact that they call it ultimate. So I had this message this morning. And it was from a friend um, on Google Plus asking, did I say this friend was from America? From America. Why does it seem like all their local beers are over here, or something like that? I'm paraphrasing badly, despite the fact that that's all the beer I've had today. Anyway, first of all, um, I think the beer referred to as low res, which is um, in every spoon throughout the country. So yeah, that is correct. And in fact, Weatherspoons were probably one of the first to start importing on a wide scale American cans. 
Um, that was six point as well. Um, that was Bengali Tiger, as was, no, just Bengali. Um, and there was uh, a Pilsner and another beer, which I can't remember. And it came in around 2014. Uh, I just think they started importing those because it was slightly different. And they were ahead of the curve because up until then, cans had a bad reputation. It was something you got in supermarkets and it was low quality beer. And if you drank out of cans, your hand would warm them up and the beer would get warm and it tasted horrible. <coughs> the second thing is, is I'm not your standard drinker. I go to lots of places um, where there are speciality imports. <coughs> like from Belgium, um, Germany, and especially the USA, because, like it or not, the USA are great brewers, and I kind of like it. So maybe I'm putting over a false view of the British beer scene. Um, or maybe I'm not. Anyway, this is decidedly English, as opposed to British, because I am in England. Um, but if I go to places like the Hereford Beer House, tons of American beers and tons of excellent American beers and one thing that you won't see is poor American beers we know what we want we'll go over and get them and bring them back uh, even if uh, we don't have a trade deal Whoop, getting slightly political there anyway later on today yeah, West Dorset camera beer cider and Oktoberfest thingy need to go call my dream team now and get the audio up Thank you. Hope that explains my point of view. I'm sure someone will say you're talking nonsense. But that is intelligent discourse, the ability to argue. Well, there's the sign. And I'm assuming there's the main entrance. Nice car park. And I've never seen a bitch before. It's kind of big. Gary mentioned it before. I think he's right. Well, there's a queue. And it's all baldies, like myself. Obviously, I'm as far away from people as possible. Uh, there's the casks over there. Uh, just over there, is, as I say, the black thing, that's the ciders. And, because I'm an old man, I'm on a mild. As for recommendations, this is from Small Paul's from Dorset. Excellent. You can actually see the bay over there, that's great. Um, this is Blackberry Mild, specially brewed for Oktoberfest using six, six different malts and brambling crossed hops. Expect a dark brown beer. Yep, I think that's okay. And a slightly sweet edge. Ooh, there's burnt nuts there. Very full. Oh yeah, they, um, the finish is quite sweet. Again, yeah, a little bit of fruity. He says, waving his hand around, which you can't see. That's quite good. Be fussing a bit. I like that. A bit of carpet for Mr. Manning. There's some real wood flooring over there. Anyway, so on to number two. This is from Cumbria. Uh, this is Crusader Gold. Hang on. I know. I just think which one I've had. Okay. Um, there's a bit of a pen shortage around here. This is Crusader Gold. Thank you. From Answorth Yard, 4.1% alcohol by volume, lightly hot golden ale with just citrus. Smells of apples. I'm getting a lot of apples. I don't know. Yeah, citrus more apple Hmm. I'd say we've got some a bit. <laughs> Apparently just went to the toilet and they have signs up there. You can join camera there. I'm not sure. Not in the toilet. 
I may have done this before. But I don't care. It's lunch. Okay, um, number three, which is number 19 on this list. This is Lowe's Water Gold from Cumbrian, 4.3% alcohol by volume. I've had two sips and I'm not even touching the half pint line at the moment. So, good value. The aroma is fruity. And the taste, mm -hmm. taste. Malty, sweet maltiness with a hint of bitter. That's another B plus in a bit. First rule of beer festivals, when you go to get a refill, don't forget your glass. Not me, but oh my. Okay, this is number four. That's number 28 in the magazine. This is Session from 8 Arch from Dorset. 3.8% alcohol by volume. <coughs> it's an IPA. It says, huge hot punch from vast amounts of citrus hop with a bit of finish. Oh, it smells like a fruit bomb. Oh, that's very good. That is fruity, hoppy. It's like a double IPA, just not quite as alcoholic. Mind you, the 3.8% is in there. I'm going to get B plus plus for a hell of it. I've just checked the toilet. There's no way you can join camera in there. Anyway, back to Cumbria. This is a Grimfell IPA, 4.5% alcohol by volume, from Hess Pet New Market. Okay. So there's a sort of caramelly malty aroma. Fruity, sweet, malty, B plus and a bit. Number, oh I can't remember. Anyway, this is number 33 for the No Agenda show. This is Pale Ale from Grasmere, 4% alcohol by volume. This is a 5%. No, it's not. This says 4%. IPA, tropical and not soapy. Who writes this stuff? That was all in birds. Um, fruity aroma. It was all 7% cloudy beer. 87% cloudy beer. There's a hint of sweetness in there, a hint of maltiness. That's very pleasant. B++. Yay. Back on the piddle. This is summer loving. Got me so bad. 4.8% alcohol by volume, uh, distinctive New Zealand pale, containing blended maris, otter and pilsner malt, bucket loads of Wainira and Wakuku New Zealand hops. Okay. Uh, clean, fresh aroma. Mm. It's a complex, hoppy taste. I'm saying B plus in a bit. That's nice. And we are done. Well, the afternoon session anyway. It's been really good. Um, the doghouse looks packed. Let's have a look. Well, the dog, the dog house, the dog house was packed. So I'm right here. It says Craft Ales. Who knows? <laughs>